Jones in the Yo, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Malik Thomas, and thank you for tuning in to another skate tutorial. Now, the tutorial that we're about to learn today, learning how to shoot the duck and do the coffin. One move is easy, and the other move can be very challenging. But nonetheless, both of these moves are very notorious and known on TikTok. I've seen a lot of TikTok skaters do it. You know, I'm not gonna ramble too long. I'm just gonna tell you to do the same thing I always tell you to do. Support me, I support you more. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video upload. And let's get into the tutorial. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. The first move I will be showing you, which is the easy one, just as long as you take your time and just practice. It is called Shoot the Duck. I'm sure you've seen it at the beginning of the video, but I'll show you a demonstration before we get into it. Let's go. Seems fairly easy, right? The only trick behind doing shooting the duck is that you must do a squat position while in motion and reach for your toe plug. It's really not that hard. All it takes is a little bit of stretching, a little bit of knee power, and you'll have it in no time. You want step one of shooting a duck, you're simply just gonna get into a squat position. Get comfortable with this and see how this feel. If you skate a lot like me, your knees are probably screaming, but listen, it'll all be worth it. So let's practice getting in a squat position and just balancing yourself because you're gonna have to get on one leg in a moment. Once again, just practicing a squat position. That will be step one of doing just shoot the duck. All right, so step two of doing shoot the duck is simply an extension. So right now we are not gonna be in motion. We are still gonna practice the movements and the stance of doing shoot the duck. So once again, we are in our squat position. We are going to extend one of our legs if you are strong with your right leg, I highly recommend you extend your left leg. If you are strong with your left leg, I highly recommend you extend your right leg. I'm stronger on my right leg than my left, so I'm going to extend my left. So all we're going to do is simply get used to the motion of extending your leg as shown and grabbing your toe plug. So you're going to reach out and try to do a, a stretch as if you were going for your toe plug and you're just gonna hold it. Now while you are sitting down, you can just try to balance yourself. And I highly recommend when you are doing this move that the foot that is gonna be on the ground rolling, you keep it on all fours. And just reach for your toe plug and balance yourself, as shown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Once again, if this is a little confusing and it may seem a little hard the first time you do it, but when you do it in motion, it comes together a lot easier. Once again, if you are stronger with your right leg, I recommend you extend your left leg. If you are stronger with your left leg, I recommend you extend your right leg. When you are doing the shoot the duck in motion, you are going to have your strong leg on all fours. You're gonna keep them all planted down. And the leg that you're gonna have extended out that is the leg that you are going to reach out for. If your left leg is extended, you are gonna use your left hand and reach out for your toe plug. And this is how you're going to roll. And this is what's going to be the technique called shoot the duck. Now I'm gonna do the step three in motion. Now I'm gonna do the shoot the duck in motion for step three, and then we can move on to the next technique. Now once again, like I've stated before, it is very much so better to do the shoot the duck while in motion. This gives you the momentum so that you can just drive and be able to move and just grab your toe plug while your wheels are spinning and moving you. Now pay attention. While we are in motion, we're gonna squat down and reach out. While we are in motion, we're gonna reach down into a squat and reach out. Once again, we're gonna come down into a squat and extend our leg and reach out and grab your toe plug. Let's do it one more time. We're gonna squat, we're gonna extend our leg, and we're gonna grab our toe plug in order to keep our foot elevated off the ground. Try this a couple times while you're in motion and just take your time and practice. Do not be discouraged, and that is how you do shoot the duck. Let's go ahead and move on. 
All right, now I am going to be teaching you how to do the coffin. Now the coffin is not an easy move to do at all. It puts a lot of strain on your knees, but I promise when you learn it and you learn the technique and the form, you would easily be able to do it without straining your knees too much. This is a very cool move because when you see someone do it, they're just so low to the ground and their body is literally horizontal from the ground. It's a very nice technique and today I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna do it a couple times for you so you'll know what it is and then we can move on to step one. Let's go. Seems easy enough. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that's a tiring move to do. I can only do that about three times and that got me out. But wait, I'm still gonna teach you how to do it. Let's go. So step one of doing a coffin, you have to get used to a squat position. Like both of these moves require you to go in a squat position. The only difference with this move is that it requires you to use your strongest leg to be planted on all fours again and your weakest leg to be in a horizontal motion. Your body is literally going to be parallel with your leg. So as your leg goes horizontal, your body's gonna go horizontal as well and you are going to ride on your strongest leg. So step one, let's go ahead and go into another squat position. As always, get used to your knees being bent on these techniques. You have to have these bending techniques in your head so that you can learn how your body will feel when you bend your knees. I'm telling you, these moves put a lot of strain on your knees. If you have bad knees, I do not recommend, but if your knees are okay to healthy, give it a shot. If you're like me, you'll probably be able to do it two or three times before you get exhausted. All right now, so now we're done with step one with the easy squatting technique. We are gonna move to step two. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and move on to step two. I want you to pay close attention to how this works. So I am going to use my right leg as my strongest leg and my left leg as my weakest. We're gonna have to go ahead and place your left leg or your right leg right underneath your right leg that's planted down and put it in a horizontal motion. Now, do you see what I'm doing here with my right arm? All I am simply doing is cuffing my knee around. This is giving me the support to keep my knee up and you're gonna have to use some strength to keep yourself kind of balanced in the center. Now with your body, you're simply going to just put your body down and just roll. Doing this in motion will be a lot better because when you always have momentum, it helps a lot of your techniques and puts a lot less strain on you. So once again, let's go ahead and follow the steps again. I'm gonna use my left leg this time and we are going to go ahead and place it in a horizontal motion. And we are going to use our left arm and cuff it around to keep us stabilized. And this is doing the coffin. And when you roll like this, you, it should be a lot easier to do. Now I'm going to do it in motion and I want you to pay close attention for step three. The transition into it is an important part for this move as well that's gonna make or break this move. You may fall a couple times, just get back up and keep practicing and trying it again. Pay attention. So when we go into the coffin, we're simply gonna have our strong leg planted down and our weak leg is just gonna transpire to coming down into the motion. Here's an example for you and we are in a coffin. And down. Here's a tip for you. Whichever leg you have planted down, for instance, I have my right leg planted down. I'm gonna use my right arm to cuff around once my leg goes horizontal under it. I'm gonna use my left hand and place it right underneath my boot. This is gonna help me with stability as well so I can just roll. Give that a shot as well. And that is how to do the coffin. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. I hope this video was very self-explanatory. I hope you guys are out there practicing. Go to your local tennis court, especially if you have better weather than Chicago. Go in your rinks and practice inside the rinks. Take all the tutorial that I put out and just practice, practice, practice. Without further ado, like the video, subscribe to the channel, Hit that bell so you never miss a banger upload. Thank you guys for tuning in. Malik out.